Hi everyone, and welcome back to more Strong Bad School Game for Attractive People Episode 1, Homestar Ruiner! Yay! Point and Click Adventure Zone! Okay. No, game. no we're not going to do new game. We're going to do save load. And we're going to load this one. Hi! So when last we left our hero hero um we successfully rigged the race so that only we could win and then we did so we have we have won the race and we we're trying to get homestar and marzipan back together and i feel like we did that what do we have left here not all of our uh Oh yeah, there's our trophy. Nice. So, let's see if uh, Homestar is gone. He's not. He's just he's just being himself. Is he gone? <sighs> My turn. Finish your comic already. I'm trying. But the words keep coming out all misspelled and unintentionally humorous. <laughs> oh, if only I knew what it was like to be a winner. He does... He does make bad choices. So let's see, what if we give him a trophy? Hmm, this will require some strategy. Hey, look at that thing over there. A thing? Well... Dump one, wake up! Oh, wait, why? Oh, crap! I just had a wonderful dream where I won the race to the end of the race. But, Homestar, it wasn't a dream, see? You really did win the race to the end of the Watch of a I did? I did? But how? How should I know? Maybe you were sleep running or something. Yes, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> well, looks like my 23 part graphic novel can wait for another day. Finally! I was starting to think I'd never get to maim another badly drawn teen girl ever again. Hey, do you hear that? That, my hot ladies, was the sweet sound of Homestar's Tuchus being surgically removed from my house. You hear that, house? It's just you and me. So there you have it, Monsoor Manur, the video guy. What the? Whoopee! Whoopee! I'll deny you oxygen to your lungs if you don't get out of here. Pizza box, neighborhood style. It's strong side suicidal plant. Normally, I'd be bouncing on these pizzas like to cheat on a wounded Twinkie, but I draw the line at veggie pizzas. Especially veggie pizzas with olives and extra king of town slobber. There's somebody who, res <laughs> who resembles that kind of pizza. Hey! <laughs> Never mind. But I want it. Hey! <laughs> Never mind. Hey! Thanks for stopping by, buddy. He's even more ravenous than usual. Almost like he spent the last few hours in a deep dark hole or something. <laughs> No, that couldn't be it. Peanut extract cola, Gross. eggplant fritters, frozen double vegan sundaes. Maybe. Yeah, this is a Marza party, all right. Marza party. Oh, you got an offer already? That's awesome. What are you doing here, Bubs? You hate marzipan's parties. Yeah, but I love the stuff in your fridge. Wait a minute. If you're here, who's minding the concession stand? Oh, Ooh, I got that covered. What do you think you're doing here? Thank you. Thanks for throwing this pratty. I love pratties. Oh, uh, yeah. Congrats. I 
gotta mess with the mic again. Okay. Seems to be back to normal. You're looking particularly oblivious tonight, coach. Why, thank you there, strong man. <laughs> Nothing like a pratty with lots of free roughage to perk a guy up. A pratty. Sorry to hear that home star took the race trophy from you. Oh, that's okay there, Brongstrad. You know what they say. Records were meant to be broken into little bitty pieces. But still, to have your one shining moment of glory so unceremoniously choke slammed into the trash can of history by such a well known loser like Homestar? <laughs> no, really, it, it's okay. I. Oh. Nailed it. That's where I get what from. The oh, the flipping of the letters? No, that's just you something that I do. Some not very nice person torched most of my very nice decorations. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, sorry about that. It was for the greater good, the greatest good, in fact. You know, mine. Huh. You know, Homestar didn't really win the race to the end of the race. I did end. No, oh, it was me, and a totally knocked the head from Marzipan's float Homestar <laughs> mask. <laughs> oh, that's rich, strong man. You know that Marzipan is the only character that's voiced by a different person? Everybody else is one dude. I should probably get back to kicking Homestar out of my house, but I just can't resist that perky Team Girl Squad. Team Girl Squad! So do we get new new note card prompts for this? Hmm. Yes, that is one way. My real dad just bought me a new car because he feels guilty about all the wrongs he done. But then he gave it to his 22-year-old girlfriend. Stupid Caitlin. You. <laughs> Yikes. Boys love pubescent. Oh, I did this one already. Dang it. Can't you make me awkward? Later on the game. Uh oh, girl types. Gotta look good despite my hairless legs. Nothing impresses like a chest pass. Chest pass. He's on fire. Hey, basketballer. I made it bought this for you. <laughs> Sweet. Watch my white layup drills. Triple double. <laughs> <laughs> and now she's gone. Cover your lungs, everyone! I gotta crisp these bangs up with some ozone killer hairspray! I feel like I did this one, too. Put one on me, basketballer! I like the way you dribble up and down the court! Kurt says girls are a detriment to my game face. And I should spend more time in the showers. Teen boy stink! <laughs> it's over! Got him. Alright, we did it. See if anything's going on in the basements. Nope, just the cheat and the washing machine. I'll never be able to get back to watching scrambled premium cable until I get these annoying party people out of here. Do we have the tools at our disposal to do such a thing? The cheat, you gotta get away from the 
the washer, dryer, whatever. Nah. Can we return the shears? That won't do anything interesting. Shape of a moron. <coughs> Hello, Marjapan. Hello, strong bad. Hello, strong bad. <laughs> How did you guess? Well, I didn't at first, but then I realized that the real home star is standing right next to me. Hey, that's right. He is. <laughs> no, really. It was me all along. The joke's wearing a little thin, strong bad. What would it take to get you to move this dork fest someplace that isn't my house? Twenty-three dollars. We're not going anywhere until we've sufficiently busted moves and or. I mean, twenty-three dollars. Oh, that's not good. Usually it takes Marzipan at least eight hours to fully bust moves. And as for Homestar, shake it loose, shake it tight. Give me the juice. It's Saturday night. He's busting something, all right. <laughs> or maybe he's just plain busted. Okay. It's got to have something to do with the banana peel. Let's see. Let's try this one. I'll put this in shouts of one syllable. Get out of Oh, he's too house. busy. No thanks, SB. I need a hootenanny like this to pick me up after the awful way Pom Pom broke my heart <laughs> with all his cheating and shorting and nonchalant cavorting. It's a good line. No, he's too busy hanging out at the neighbor's pool to, uh, to hang out with us. Hey there. Jeez. Bubs, I love you like a distant cousin-in-law, but you gotta get out of here. <laughs> no way, man. I'm just getting warmed up. Just getting warmed up. Oh, nobody cares that we're in costume. Top floor, please. Thank you. I, I do need Strong Sad to come out of his room. Strong Sad, Raymond Jenkins, you nope. open this. You what? Oh, we'll just wait till your father gets home and see what. You're not even my real mom. <laughs> Fine. I didn't want to go in your purple room of doom and gloom. Hmm. How do we get these people to leave? Do, 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 do. Turn up the jams. Could do it. Smoke detector or something. That smoke detector hasn't had a battery since that day I made strong side eat a nine oh. volt. Well, no, it's not doing anything. I know it's hard to tell from this angle, but the view from here is awesome. What are they? They doing? I'm too depressed to talk. <laughs> yeah, me too. I just can't stop gazing at my shoes. <laughs> I wish my hair was black. <laughs> Hip hop objectifies women. Ward. <laughs> I do believe that that dreary Mr. Bad is attempting to interrupt our dance, Mr. Homestar. I should say, what an appalling breach of common civility. I concur. Mm, yes, indubitably. All right, coggle eye, everybody. <laughs> 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 Does that? Oh, yes. A banana peel, sweet. Nailed it. Your town must have been pretty desperate to eat something as healthy as this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> This 
Splat. You know, this is a really dangerous idea. Someone could trip on this poorly placed banana peel and go flying right out the window. Yep, sure is dangerous. What? <laughs> okay, well, that was sad. <laughs> so, do we just turn the music off? Ah, blessed silence. Hmm. Why, hello, Hoes Jaw. You're not fooling anyone, Strong Bad. Yeah, Hoes Jaw. <laughs> so there's definitely something to do with the conga line. Ooh, it's good to be back to my. Do we. Lux around your powers, activate! Put that out? Because we still have the um, banana peel. Oh, why, <laughs> Okay, so they go around it. <laughs> Come on. The wild interpretation of a conga line, too. Oh my! I've dropped my banana peel. I hope no one slips. Weird. It's location dependent. Hey! Whoops! Okay. There we go. Let's try that. I love the way I think. There's no glass in that window? <laughs> Got him. That's what happens when you mess with General Flex My Packs. That, that's me. I sometimes call myself General William Flex My Packs. Now maybe I can get some freaking Might as well, right? quiet around here. Ow, my snot! <laughs> so there you have it, Monsoor Manor, the video game adaptation of how I finally beat the snot out of Homestar in the most direct and least convoluted way. Man, I'm awesome. Each snail, strong bad. So you see, people, that's why you can't. No, you can't. We did it. Should have just finished it last time so we could start episode 2 right away. That was weird. Uh oh, the municipality. Excuse me? No. You gotta watch it. Let's see while it does that. Oh, nope. Gotta keep that up. How can so many people have worked on it? Doug Tobacco? Yeah, there's four other episodes. Matt Chapman, Matt Chapman, Matt Chapman. Told you. And Misty Palmer. The Telltale Tool. I would tell you what the episode title is. Faranak Farjamrad Herrera. The Homestar Wiki. Telltale Pets. Oh, there was a goldfish and I missed it. Dang.
right? It's a Wii game, man. Friends and losers, my long incarceration has taught me that we can never be truly free until we reject the fat authority. The of fat authority. Hence, to forthwith, I shall only refer to him as the of town. <laughs> As of today, Strongvania is its own independent nation! Onward to Strongvania! Strongvania the Free! Hey, that's the name of this! Got him. Strongvania the Free. Every month. Oh, <laughs> Alright. Okay, so now. Quitters never win. But they do. So we're gonna quit. And open up a number dose. You get a black screen while it opens. Now I have to try and make it figure out. Oh, nope, come back. Okay. Oh, it's got, oh, the, the resolution is awful. No, you don't want to see this. Settings. All right. Did we get it back? Oh my God, it's so small. It's so small. Boop. There we go. Okay, I think I got that right. And then come over here. Do this, done, show. Ah, why is it so large now? I have to make, no, I don't make a new window source, but I have to like go in and uh, tell it like the name of the window. So, boop. There we go, that should work. Sent too big. Sabeload. Under my new game, everyone gets ice cream. Scenes from the next episode. Where's the tyrant quit it? <laughs> new game. Yep, we don't need to play the tutorial this time. I don't know what I've been told. Email's best when it don't scroll. Is it? Hey, Not Just by a whole terrible much. Town has ever passed. Don't you think you would be a better ruler than the king of town? Your pal, Roy T. Castle Hill. Roy T. Well, Castle Hill. Roy D., it goes without saying I'd be a better ruler than the king of town. But seriously, who wants that job? All right, stuck thanks for stopping by. All day, stuck Talk to y'all a little bit. Probably nah. stuck in the bathtub. No thanks, man. And the king of town's mostly harmless. Sure, he's stupid looking, as the scientific diagram illustrates. <laughs> but he stays out of my business, and that lazy, fair approach to government is a welcome alternative. Oh, I think I'd like to go to the lazy fair. Aha! Uh -huh. Got your red gloved it! The king of town? How'd you get in here? <laughs> in flagrant disregard of my new email tax, eh? One creamy ding snack cake for every email sent or received. Email tax? Flagrant? Creamy ding? Oh, so you refuse to pay. Oops, man. Administer the color of obedience. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Hey, you are under house arrest. Ow, you have freedom. the right to bribe me. Anything you offer will be eaten by me, whether cooked or raw. Try walking past that fence downstairs, and bravo. Hope you weren't too attached to that head. <laughs> and one more thing. My map, I need that! <laughs> Make sure you stay put until you can pay up! Now that's right, Poopsmith! Gotta go collect from my new pour a bag of jelly beans down my gullet tax! House arrest? Oh man, this is the worst thing to happen to my style in a long line of bad things happening to my style! <laughs> I gotta find a way out of here and give that uncharacteristically oppressive king of town a serious mustache pounding! All right. Stupid king of stupid town. <laughs> Gotta remember this date. The worst day in the whimsical history of wrongful imprisonment. 
I really gotta update that sign with something more forceful. But uh, that sounds like too much work. Yeah, we all know how that goes. I can't unplug the lappy. It takes five to seven business days to fully charge the battery. All right. Don't charge on weekends. But first, oh, hang on. Prepare yourself. Test commencing. <laughs> I didn't prepare myself. Oh look, the door's open. But yes, first we need to uh, test the outside outside door. Oh really? We can't. We just can't go. There we go. An invisible fence that makes your head explode when you cross it. Seemed like such an awesome idea when I recommended it at the last town meeting. Oh, our window. Oh, man. Of all the weeks I could have picked to install steel bars on all the ground floor windows. Got him. At least it stopped strong man sleepwalking. Oh, we moved the, the you chair. You can withstand the otherworldly horror of Ugg Rug, the world's ugliest rug. <laughs> I love how the fridge smells like rotting vegetables when there's never been a vegetable in it. <laughs> Strong sad suicidal houseplant. If only we had read his journal, we might have seen the signs. <laughs> All right, let's go in here. If you're gonna, no one cares. Nothing interesting. What was all that noise about? Oh, great! Stuck under house arrest with no one but little Lord Fat Leroy, the most depressing kid brother ever left on the front porch by gross gypsies. That's never Yikes. been proven! What's the best way to destroy an invisible fence? Well, if you can short out the transformer, then do that. Otherwise, burn- Hey, wait a second! Is this something illegal? No, no, it's a radio call-in show question. Hurry up so I can be the fourth caller. I don't want to get charged with aiding and abetting a criminal again. The king of town put me under house arrest. House arrest? That's not fair. Seriously? I mean, wait, why are you upset? I was hoping you'd get sent back to prison and I'd get some peace. Back to prison. I've got an unassembled model of the Con Tiki that's just waiting for your next incarceration. If you're not interested, Strong Sad likes to call this his deathbed. I like to call it his wet bed. I used to like Sloshy until I found out they had short hair and glasses. Got him. Sparkling clean. Must have been Obsessio Depressio's turn to clean the bathroom this week. It's my turn every week. Is this the only bathroom in the house? I stopped looking through these cabinets after I found Strong Mad's tube of below the belt paste. Gross. Ugh. Yeah, he gave it to me too. Ah, uh, toilet humor. Strong Sad's old security blanket? Strong Mad's new athletic region towel. Okay, now in inventory. Hey, who put the Muscle Face 2 movie poster up in the bathroom? Ah, uh, oh wait, it's just my reflection. Got him. Strong Mad's room has been off limits ever since that crate of bug bombs mysteriously went off inside his closet. It should be all cleared out in about a month, though. A month. If you're gonna beat me up, make it quick. I've got a full agenda today. Nope. Why would we make it quick? All right. I probably could have finished making Danger S3 by now if I hadn't spent so much time working on that teaser poster. <laughs> Pretty good likeness of the leading man, though. Well, hello, Mr. Har I'm gonna stop hitting on myself. 
All right, the tarantula black metal detector. Now with built-in shovel attachment. Hey, -o. got that again. Cool. What is that? My crown from Lobos. Why did they ever stop making the jalapeno and king snake meat double deluxe? Why? Oh man, wish I hadn't used up the last of my paper drawing that scientific diagram of the King of Town. <laughs> I guess the next issue of Teen Girl Squad will have to wait. With just a bed and a little imagination, home organization is a breeze. Let's see, what game have I got queued up for the fun machine? Math kickers featuring the algebras. Yikes! Man, what are video games gonna learn? You can't learn from video games. <laughs> Left arrow is to move. There's a Z and X. Okay. Uh, stupid played out internet cliche. Lame. Stupid played out internet cliche. Oh, we have to move up to them. I see here. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Lame. <laughs> It is, uh, there's a lot going on on screen that I am incapable of processing right now. Too much math. That pillow. A big fat pillow filled with big fat dust mites. Gross. The couch is in pretty bad shape. I gotta stop sleeping so hard. <laughs> tanks from the 23rd and 48th Battalion were flanked by tanks from the enemy's 56th Battalion. It was then that General Smithfordshire revealed his secret weapon, a slightly larger tank. Can we only get the History Unleashed channel? <laughs> this is torture! A slightly larger tank. Oh man, I knocked the stuffing out of the couch again. I gotta stop having those dreams where I'm trapped in an elevator with Milkmaid Homestar. Trogdor continues to torment me with his brokenness and not working osity. <laughs> Alright, so what do we have? Can we wear this? I won't do anything interesting. Oh. But I love Blubbos. I know if I ran them in the dryer a few hundred times, they'd shrink down to my size. <laughs> the key to surviving in prison is to not hang out in the laundry room for too long. Or Shiv City, as I like to call it. <laughs> Those are pennants from various academic institutions, unaccredited and discredited alike. So we got couch stuffing, a pillow, the paper crown, the metal detector. I better not. The last time I tried to use the detector indoors, it microwaved off Strong Mad's eyebrows. <laughs> we couldn't tell how mad he was for weeks. Yikes. Hmm. Can we go outside without exploding? <laughs> That's negative. <laughs> shaking off char heads not near as satisfying as shaking off frying pan head. What? What's frying pan head? Let's check our email because sometimes there's story relevant stuff up there. Otherwise, we're just going to show Strong Sad our entire inventory. Six emails, my goodness. 
Yo, strong man. Is Homestar still trying to find people to be in the Homestar me? I want to enlist, but only if he helps pay for college. Ready to fight <laughs> Ben F. Well, Ben, the Homestar me will take just about anybody. The Homestar already blew their entire scholarship fund on an invisible time machine. <laughs> I sold him. So sorry, no college fund. Which bringeth me to my second point. <laughs> I'm not thinking your biggest obstacle in college is going to be financial if you get my drift. <laughs> I'd start figuring out where in your parents' basement you're gonna hang your Bob Marley poster once you move back in. Benf. Bonjour, strong man. What's the deal with that Homsar guy? I can't understand a thing he says. Is he making fun of me? Confused. All W. Athens. Bonjour, Le Paul. Nobody can understand a thing that Homsar says. <laughs> Theories abound as to the cause of this baffling condition, but one thing's for sure. He is, like the rest of us, regardless of language, creed, or beliefs, making fun of you. <laughs> so thank you, Les Paul, for bringing people together. For bring Brennan. Survey says deleted. Deleted. What's up, sexy strong man? I'm a lacking at this one already. <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way, but we think that Pom Pom is the hottest. Is he available? Jules and Jess, noisy chewers. Oh, ladies, I guess? If they weren't already swimming in a hundred dollar bill shaped pool full of email offers from co educated females, I might be offended. But I am. Splash, splash. Emails? So I can afford to let Pom Pom have a little overflow action. I don't know about his availability, though. He usually stops playing the field at around a hundred girlfriends. I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. Most of the girls' Pom Pom dates have names that don't sound suspiciously like two dudes. Jesse the boy and Jules the Burns's great-great-grandson. <laughs> P.S. You both look fat. P.S. That will burn. Yikes. Deleted. Hey, strong bad. What do the rest of the on point kings do when you're not hanging out with them? <laughs> and are you still looking for new members? Lloyd Renault. The on point kings is a pretty exclusive group. The toughest of the tough, the coolest of the cool, and the somethingest of the something. That pretty much rules out guys in Reno named Le Lloyd. I'll keep your resume crumpled up and stuffed down strong mad's tube socks, though. As for what the cheat and strong man do when I'm not around, I imagine they sit around discussing and wait for me. cool thing I did or said yeah, you know. sat on earlier that day. Those guys have the unspoken bond of lifelong friends, which is good because speaking isn't either of their strong suits. <laughs> El Delito Grande! Dear citizen. This message is to inform you of the new email tax, effective immediately and retroactively in the form of one creamy dang snack cake per message sent or received, including this one. <laughs> Please make a note of it. Violators will be persecuted. Your ruler for eternity, the king of town. P.S. Direct all complaints to my hinder. I still say the wording of that message is legally vague. <laughs> Okay, so that did not help us. Boop. All right, we're just gonna show Strong Sad all of our stuff. What? What are you guys doing here? <laughs> Can't you see I got enough troubles? I'm a political prisoner. That's why we're here, Strong Bad. This is a peaceful protest rally. Peaceful. Strong bad. No taxing without representing. Dave the Bat. I even wrote you a protest song. <laughs> Come on, everybody now. Can't you hear the wind blow? We don't like the king of town making people's heads explode. Ah, cruel and unusual. <laughs> Are you losers just gonna stand around it's, losing? It's wild. Get past that fence. That would be illegal. I can't go back to the joint again, man. I ain't going. 
We started a collection to help pay her back taxes. You're welcome. Why'd you bring that ugly, misshapen stick? She organized the protest rally. Oh, not marzipan. Though that's a pretty good one. Gotta remember that. I'm talking about that stick dangerously close to the invisible fence. That's our orphigy of the king of town. Er, orphigy. RPG. First person shooter. Nailed it. That looks nothing like the king of town. Yeah, Marzipan made us take all that stuff off. Right, Homestar. We're protesting the actions of the King of Town, not the man himself. Fight the power! We was gonna burn it, but after looking at that pathetic thing, our hearts just ain't in it. We wanna fry up the King of Town, not Stickball Jackson. <laughs> man, this is so unfair. I gotta write an angry letter to my doughy congressman. Didn't you see the warning message about the new email tax? No, I didn't see the warning message about the new email tax. All messages from the oh, where do subtitles go? Intercepted with extreme prejudice by my idiot filter. But I see you all kinds of my new emails. Idiot filter. But I see you all kinds of my new emails. Idiot. Never mind. No blood for creamy dings. Man, ain't that always the way? The one day an yeah, where'd our subtitles go? The mail is the day you get put under house arrest for tax evasion. Hopefully it's just this screen. Royal robe and size husky? Check. Ain't a cheat. What's red and fat and smells like rancid meatloaf? No, the other thing. Fill her up. The king's morbid obesity, check. Getting there. Oh, my blubbo's crown. His ridiculous looking beard that's supposed to hide his lack of a jawline, check. <laughs> that's something. Stupid crown that gets the king all up in my grill acting like he owns the place or something, check. Oh, hello, King of Town. It's him! It's the guy! Burn him up! Burn the king! <laughs> oh well, take him out, boys. Sweet recently divorced Lady Freedom! What? Onward to Strong Valia! Strong Valia, the free! Hey, that's the name of this. I wanted to see Homestar's sob lighter. And losers, my long incarceration has taught me that we can never be truly free until we reject the fat authority of the King of Town. Hence, to forthwith, I shall only refer to him as the Of Town. As of today, Strong Badia is its own independent nation. <gasps> the cheat, if you will. We should all live in a place where we are free. Free to pick our friends. Free to pick our noses. And most importantly, free to pick our friends' noses. There you go. That's why I, Nailed Strong it. Bad of the Mighty Tidy Whities, declare war on the Elf Town. Who's with me? Where'd everybody go? <laughs> Seceded? I can't do that. I'm the only one who gets his own country. <laughs> so I'm gonna real quick save. Let's see. And then I'm just gonna reload to see if that gets us our subtitles back. Sabeload. Okay. Already my beautiful nation. Nope, they're just gone. Filed by litter. Aha! This maps and minions board will be perfect. And the echo is back. The world domination. This board is here and the ocean. Gather topological data from the survey team. Put a dragon here and perfect. If I'm here and I want to get the mic down a little bit. Stupid castle here. 
I'm pretty much gonna have to lay waste to everything and crush all the free nations under the steel-toed boot of the strong Strongbarian Empire. I better get crack a lacking. My lands have suffered greatly my during my wrongful imprisonment. Strong Sad's old Maps and Minions board game. The chief's been trying to, to melt all the game pieces together to make a super soldier. And ho, oh, what's this? Perfect strong body and currency. Hey, I'll okay. call them quesos. Ha. We've got an economy now. Nice. Uh, I don't think it's in settings. We can check. How did they... On. Or are they off? It's an empty maps and minions box. World domination fun for everyone. How did that everyone? get turned off? They were on earlier, right? Oh, maybe they weren't for this episode. The cheat and tyria. Nastiest name for a country I ever heard. <laughs> Yikes. There you are, the cheat. Let's go. We got an empire to build. <laughs> What? Is that any way to address your ultimate dictator and racquetball partner? Wish I had a racquetball partner. You can't secede from Strong Badia. It's it's treason. <laughs> Fine then. What's your boring loser country for boring losers <laughs> called anyway? <laughs> the cheat and tyria. Uh, you might want to read that one. <laughs> You know you're too small and weak to take on the Strong Badian army. <laughs> oh, yeah. Strong Badia never built an army, did we? Dang. Come on, the cheat. You know the good times we've had. Remember back when we stapled that grilled cheese to Homestar's chin this morning? <laughs> I'll let you spend the night in the crisper drawer while it's still in the fridge. Nice. You gotta know you're my right hand to cheat. <laughs> what if I make you my second in command? <laughs> all right, all right. I know there's been some tension lately. Things were said. I maybe kicked some things I didn't mean. <laughs> but come on, what's strong badia without the cheat? <laughs> After all I've subjected my loyal subjects to, this is how you treat me. Even you, Tyre? Oh, that's just cold. So... Even our trusty, somewhat rusty car, torn apart by political unrest. Front Switzerland. <laughs> Hatchbackistan. If this nation's a rockin', you know what to don't come do. <laughs> Hatchbackistan's pretty funny. Go. The magical physics bending kingdom of Snapshackland. The back fence revolutionaries struggling to overthrow their frontal fence oppressors. <laughs> See, this is like the episode RJ needed to be here for. The too. People's Republic of Frontal Fence. Bitter rivals of the Back Fence Revolutionaries. Box. Anything fun? Nice. Page three of my Algebra's instruction manual. This one teaches the lethally educational logarithm attack move. Hey, Please divulge to the second window. Slappy Grill Toys. 
50% off apple pie charts. What? <laughs> you need them. Okay. Nice. Found it. Some kind of grotelated tuning fork. That's a fun word. The tiny noble kingdom of Stichtenstein. A collectible souvenir flag from Strong Vania. Nice. I always knew you were loyal to me, brick wall. The Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Also good. Uh, have a gun back there? Hey, you Putin tater! Welcome to Concession Stantinople. Also good. Oh, Bobs, you made your own country too. Technically, it's an autonomous commonwealth. Well, you got the right idea. How are all of these country names so good? You know anything about the Pom Pomeranians? Oh, that place is like a second home to me. I go there all the time. <laughs> what are you selling, mugs? I got all kinds of cheap, completely legal, touristy junk. And it's all 100% legal. We got cheese and watches and chocolate and cheesy watches and chocolate-covered cheese. Ugh. Where are you getting all this crap? Oh, I've been everywhere, man. From Cochnia to Poopslovakia. I can tell you a thing or two. Um, then tell me. No. <laughs> so all you got is cheap souvenirs. What about all the cool spoils of warring nations divided by political unrest? No way, strong man. You won't see me selling stuff like weapons and fake IDs and harvested organs. Okay, organs. but say I... I'm not done. And illegally excavated artifacts and unlicensed merchandise and pirated DVDs. Now I'm done. <laughs> okay, but say I was looking for that stuff. Oh, you're looking for the black market. Don't know where that would be. Wink. Hmm, very intriguing. You gotta join Strong Patty, man. This is neutral territory, strong man. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Wishy-Washy Little Girl. Is the man who actually makes decisions at <laughs> home? Ain't no money in taking sides. What if we give him some quesos? Mm, nope. Concession Stantinople. Population savings. Question mark. What is... Whoa, must have wandered into the wrong side of town. <laughs> uh, hello, stranger. Is this the place to pick up my packages from the legitimate sweepstakes fulfillment center? <laughs> What? Heck no, strong man. This is the black market. What do you have? Weapons? Artifacts? Organs? Uh... What are these artifacts you're talking about? Got one left. From an illegal excavation in the Hamsa Reservation. They say it's priceless. Okay, how much? I said it's priceless. No way I could just sell this to you. But I could trade it. Trade it for what? Well, I'm out of just about everything, so make an offer. <laughs> I'm in the market for a new organ. Something in a pancreas. Or a tasteful gallbladder. Ooh, tasteful gallbladder. Fresh out of organs, strong man. Yeah, this is pretty much the worst black market I've ever seen. <laughs> Don't blame me. This is the king of town buying them all. Uh, what? Don't know what he's using them for. He's probably building a mutant army of the undead. I want the mutant army of the undead. <laughs> He keeps calling them giblets for some reason. But I don't care, because he's driving the prices way up. 
If you can get anything, even tonsils or a nice pretendix, it's worth a fortune. Any condition, no questions asked. No questions You're asked. You're a shady, shady character, Bubs. It's cool in the shade. <laughs> Not wrong. Hook me up with some heavy ordnance. I got a de of town to depose. No can do, strong lad. Just got through shipping out the last of my weapons. Ah, uh, not even one bazooka flamethrower that throws throwing stars? Nope, sent those out to Cochnia. Are they having troubles with the Fahugwagati rebels? So good. Alright, well, can we give him this tuning fork? Seems like we could trade that for the artifact, but, you know, what do I know? Can we give him money? Nah. <laughs> Apparently not. Alright, you think there's still metal detector stuff to find? A souvenir flag from the cost-conscious nation of concession stand. <laughs> Alright. Collecting all sorts of flags. Okay, it doesn't seem like... Here there be Trogdors. It's the cover of the instructions for Math Kickers featuring the Algebros. <laughs> I'm glad I had the foresight to tear up the book into individual pages and hide them around the neighborhood, mailing the cover to myself in case I ever had to secede from the municipality and unite the country under strong and rule. There you go. From TPA. I wasn't expecting any packages. Hey, the That's... pilot wings that Transplace Airways people awarded me for finishing a flight without crying. Uh, I mean for landing the plane. And saving everybody on board, and making out with all the stewardesses. That's not how packages after the work. pilot uh, got a Charlie horse that I gave him. Nothing interesting. But it. But what's in the box? Bleak house. Well met, fellow ruler, and welcome to Bleak House, a constitutional monarchy, rich in tradition, and low in saturated fat. That is clearly not true. <laughs> yes, yes. I trust you've come to negotiate a peaceful trade agreement between our great nations? I've come to negotiate a violent military coup between your mouthy and shut up a stand. <laughs> hey, you can't push me around anymore, Strong Bad. I'm king of my own nation now, and I've got all the documentation to prove it. Nerd. Well, shut up. A proclamation to prohibit the burning of essentiale items. Yeah, I'm the law now, and there'll be no more of you and the cheat ruining all my stuff and undergarments. Strong Sad likes to call this. It's the dull this. fake sword Strong Sad uses for his shudder live action role playing. <laughs> Never before have PVC pipe and duct tape forged so mighty a blade. Nice, good take. Box. A souvenir flag from Black House. I had 2,000 of them made specially for my inauguration. It took my entire life savings. <laughs> Only strong side could make a flag both depressing and hey, so man. utterly forgettable. Thanks. You're it gonna took crush me that task. To make. <laughs> no, you got this. What are you working on now? Getting an early start on your terms of surrender? <laughs> Shows how much you know. I mean, I'm designing the didn't you go to high school? All my cabinet members and chiefs of staff. 
Whoa, you're giving what out What did everybody medals. draw in the textbooks? Yeah, purely ceremonial, of course. But it makes my subjects feel important. Who you got so far? Well, Senior Card Gage said he'd take my Positron under conflagration. But then I got scared and ran away. That's the proper reaction. Looks like your invasions of the arts and crafts store have been bountiful, your grayness. I'm the only one who's doing this secession thing right. As the last of my royal bloodline. You can say that again. I have a responsibility to build my country's traditions for generations to come. I sewed that flag by hand. Nerd. And I bought a whole new calligraphy pen to make our royal constitution and bill of rights. I'm gonna light those I on fire. I take back what I said about your being the last of your bloodline. You totally know how to impress the ladies. Uh, yeah, but I feel like... how to act like one. I feel like you kind of know what you signed up for there. So, Deuteronomy, why don't you just give up your little delusions of mediocrity and join Strong Batty already? I'm the one with the flag, the documentation, the <laughs> infrastructure. Who's to say you shouldn't Ooh, it's join infrastructure my week? country? Okay, no, really. You know you're going to give up and start crying eventually, so why drag it out? I'm still king. I'm still king. I'm still king. Oh, he's getting he's getting tweaky. <laughs> Love it. Um so so what happened was the king of town instituted an email tax of one like uh Twinkie for every email sent and received. And Strong Bad didn't pay because it was retroactive. So we got placed under house arrest. And we broke him out of house arrest. And we were going to rise up against the king of town. But it actually just made everybody form their own nations. And we need to conquer the nations to get to the castle to take the king of town out. So that is what we are currently a working on. Welcome to Bleak Shut up. House, good sir king. Oh, it's been colored. What? You, like so many others, will soon learn what it means to cross the strong band. The Swiss, yeah, but I couldn't remember what those were called, and I didn't want to call them little, little Debbie cakes because that's not what they were. Does the rave switch still work? Oop, we did. Wait, yes. Prepare yourself. Test commencing. <laughs> I didn't prepare myself. Okay. <laughs> Big Deborah. <laughs> that is a funny bit. I love how the fridge smells like rotting vegetables when there's never been a vegetable in it. I've never seen a brown microwave. Stupid to cheat thinks he deserves more recognition. I recognize that he's being a severe butt pain. What does he want, a medal? Wink. Look at that. The non-obtrusive hint system. Huh? That's one way to fast travel. With this medal of honor, I appoint you, the cheat, commander of my secret sauce police. Let's put this family feud behind us, old friend. Act now, and maybe I won't have you hanged for heinous war crimes. <laughs> My lighter! Oh, yeah. I knew getting you back wasn't a total waste of space and time. Dateline Strong Betty, a nation long devastated by civil war. Brother against brother, tire against cinder block. Now the long national nightmare is over, thanks to one charismatic leader. Strong Bad, your star is on the rise. Hey yo. So we are definitely gonna use that lighter to burn Strong Sad's constitution. Which again, you were here, I called it, that's what we were gonna do. But I, oh, uh, <laughs> at least I've still got the other two. For now. Hey, 
Hey, don't... Aww. Well, I suppose I could become a vassal state. No, I didn't metal detect out front. Aww. Let the occupation begin! <laughs> well, you can burn whatever you want, but you'll never put out the fire in my people's hearts. Ah, a resistance movement. How quaint. I trust you've heard of my secret to cheat. <laughs> All right, I give up. I'll be usurped by strong Badia. Today, Black House. Tomorrow, the world. Can I at least be your cultural advisor? As long as that doesn't mean you follow me around everywhere and waste my time trying to talk to me. Actually, that's exactly what it means. Black House surrendered in a humiliating display of not courage. His Lordship King Kulberius Strong Sad Alan Poe the First did everything but collapse into heaving sobs when confronted by Strong Badia's <laughs> superior military fists. Making Better progress. Alright, metal detect out front and then we'll go Nope, that is not where I clicked, thank you, game. Bloop. Alright, and outside. One of these episodes, that plant's gonna be used for something. Got it. Good call. All right! It's a priceless treasure from an ancient civilization! And a great way to get organized for back to school. What was that? The three ring binder. All right. Let's see here. So where are we going next? We have the Homsar Reservation, Concession Stand, and Pom Pomerania. God, they're all good names. They're such good names. I know where I want to go, but where do you want to go? Oh, I can't do that. Because he's in the pool. And there's nothing we can do about that. Because... and No, Trog can't go to Trogdor. I wish we could. Real life neighbors will always trump friends. That's the rules. We're going to Palm Pomerania. Palm Pomerania, exotic land of enchantment, mystery, and ladies' drink specials on Tuesday nights. I quickly made my way to a trendy party club in the nation's capital, a trendy party club, for a summit with their Popomatic Prime Minister. Hey, Strongman! Bubs, you're the leader of Palm Pomerania? What? Heck no! I'm just tending bar and doing some occasional translational work. And I'm definitely not embezzling thousands in cash from the club. How sweet of you. Hey, there you go. He says he's not doing it. I must have box. come from one seriously strong, mad-sized bottle of cold ones dry. Box. Page four of my Algebra's instruction Fruit. manual. This one unlocks the mysteries of the divide by zero move. You can't do that. Same words. Can you do any cool tricks with these bottles like in the movies? You mean like smash one over the counter and stab a guy with it just for asking me dumb questions? No. Uh, no. I meant like juggle. <laughs> juggle. Cold one's light. Half the calories, half water. Hey, Shogun, you look a little vanilla. How's about a little flavor? Bubble bubble. No fuzzy dice, strong man. The Shogun thinks you look too empty handed. Oh, uh, we're gonna have to equip our uh, sword. I better not. The last time I tried to use the detector was for no. weeks. Can't do it. No fake sword play for me. I don't smell bad enough. Okay. Nope. Interesting. Okay. 
sort of glow sticks that Gene gives out when he's spinning at the club. For years, I thought these were those waxy soda bottle candies. Then my doctor told me my stomach had a half-life of 302. Yikes. No, he wants us to have glow sticks. Ready to lay down some dope beats, DJ Ted Cheat? <laughs> DJ Ted Cheat's working the extended trance remix of the Get Up Noise. It lasts 16 hours. Sounds about right. This is no time for a rave, light switch or otherwise. You think it's money? Uh, no. Nope, it's not money. Bubble bubble. That's Emperor Strong back to you, but let's cut to the chase. Your glowy LED infused nightlife and cooler cell phones amuse me. We should discuss in a life. <laughs> not cool enough? You gotta be kidding! Before I became Emperor, I served three terms as the malarkey of cool. <laughs> You're gonna have to back up them fancy words with fancier actions if you want to impress the Shogun. What are some of Pom Pomerania's chief exports? That's pretty cool. I love those. What <laughs> else? Not Dang, useful. seriously? With the red tips and everything? Whoa, is that even legal, or ethical, or physically possible without the use of time travel? You should have seen them before the United Nations got involved. <laughs> All right, fine. I'll let you join Strong Barrier. Just stop begging. I accept your gracious no style. I'm an erupting volcano of style, <laughs> laying waste to the unstylish villagers below. And I can prove it. Uh, any ideas on how I can prove it? Dance? That's all I gotta do? Shake my sweet shining can? I don't know, Strong Bad. It's gonna take more than a shiny butt to impress the Shogun. Interesting. Any other clickables? Apparently, Pom Pom buys his dresses at the big and round men's shop. Mmm, it's a razor-sharp decorative samurai sword. I bet that thing could Julian a phone book into a tin can. What? That's not okay. See, those are good moves. Lighter. That's not flammable. The glow sticks might be. Won't burn. Have you tried? Hey, Shogun, you look a little vanilla. How's about a little flavor? No fuzzy dice, Strong Bad. The Shogun thinks you look too empty handed. Okay. I believe we are at an impasse here. We tried that. And we need artifacts. I guess we're going to the reservation. Oh my god. If this is actually a solution, I'm just gonna... They don't do it. doesn't do anything. That looks better not glowing. So glad that didn't work. <laughs> Why did we come to the Hamsa Reservation? Even I think this place is boring. And they don't even speak our language. It is a barren land, yes. Which is why I, Baron Von Flexmypex, need to conquer it. Can't we just go around? I want to go home. <laughs> Pudding. <laughs> Look ho! A floating man! I'll move in what? closer and convince him to join the bad guys. Can we go back home now? Strong said, do you have to carry this huge trunk with you every time you travel? 
What's it going on? It contains all my delicate undergarments and what? the various delicate creams and salves I use on my delicate personal areas. Strong Sad, do you have to give me the Ghiblis every time I ask you a question? Don't touch that. It's a delicate medical instrument. <laughs> You can't be too careful traveling in foreign lands. Mysterious bush. Hey, it's a souvenir war flag from the Hamsar nation. The flag of a proud, weird person. Rich in proud, weird tradition. I need to know what's going on with all this stuff, but it won't. A weird rock with popsicle crystals and a suspiciously obvious hole in the top. Could this unlock the mystery of the people of the Hamsar Reservation? And do I give enough of a crap to find out? Cave painting. Hmm, by deciphering these crude cave paintings and hieroglyphics, I believe I have unlocked the secret of the ancients. They were all dumb craps that couldn't draw a saber toothless rex to save their leopard hide wearing hides. <laughs> uh, let me show them how it's done. Cave Girl Squad! What? Cheerleader! Go and so! What's your face? The ugly one! Get it? Holla, Cave Girls! Today's the big mammoth hunt, and you know what that means! An in depth study of the indigenous megafauna? Some kind of weird CG-filled cable special? More parasites for my... It's boys, all right? It's always boys! Always and boys. I gotta look my best for my date with the captain of the mammoth hunting team. Og... Augerson. <laughs> oh, hi, Brit kid. I'll feed you and take care of you and name you Mrs. Jumble Pudding. Sensing her young is in danger of receiving a lame name, the mother tiger picks up her prize scent and closes in. Uh, did I say jumble puddings? I meant... Cybertoothed! Tiger! <laughs> in case that wasn't obvious. Got her. <laughs> Eat hot lad mammoths. <laughs> Og's a pretty good shot. I thought for sure he'd accidentally kill one of us. Kinda wish he hadn't hunted all our food to extinction, though. Yeah, you know. Environmental message! <laughs> the floodplain mall is open for business! Let's hang out in the food court for the next epic! Word. Written word. Wolf puppy! Who's the recently domesticated <laughs> boy? Yes, you are! Yes, you are! A perfectly round stone? <laughs> I can't imagine how this would ever lead to allowing boys to take me to exciting places in romantic fashion. Oh well. One hundred million thousand a long time later! I got me a summer job to save up for a cute burial shroud! Get back to work, or no drop of water for you this week. Crack! <laughs> I wish somebody would invent written language so I could write Og a love letter on this sheet of blank paper. A new ribbon! I want to make in braids like I got on spring break! Is that a m m mummy? Marty, we've been embalming pharaohs for 30 years. You gonna freak out every time? Brain out the nose with the hook! My sinuses are so <laughs> clear! <laughs> One more. Keep this retro chic vintage mammoth dress I found in my stepmom's cave! I'm only 80,000 years late for the mammoth hunt. Ooh, a sickly one's been left behind! Sparrowed! <laughs> Got her. It's over! Man, that was terrible on an epic scale. With paintings like that, we never would have made it past the dirt age. Negative 20 points. Negative 20 points. The secret points. to a funny comic is timing. 
And wiping out a bunch of teen girls, of course. But mostly timing. Is this going to take much long? Yeah, yeah, whatever. These rocks are blocking the way. Maybe Hamsar knows how to get through. No, we talked to him last. Looks like Hamsar's written language is every bit as easy to understand as the spoken one. Oh, it's where he hid everything. Because the, the buried stuff was at the stick and the mailbox, so the last one is in Strong Badia. At least the... Huh? Nice. The important stuff. A papyrus scroll with an evil leprechaun on it! That gives me a great idea for... Oh, wait. That's supposed to be an alien? Evil oh, well, leprechaun. I guess that'd work for Teen Girl Squad, too. Alright, let's see what Homestar has to say. Greetings, Floatyman. My name is called Strongbad. I need to get through your land so I can clean the of town's clock. Do you understand? I'm a knock knock joke about jogging suits. Yeah, you are, bud. I'm no linguinist, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't a yes. What is the deal with that rock with the glowy popsicles sticking out of it? Oh, try some caked on makeup from yesteryear. So good. Uh, I'm an all expenses paid vacation. Sign me up for soccer class, Debra. Weird. I almost understood that. <laughs> I think your weirdo country could really use Strong Badia's resources. Think of what you could do with our dirt, our tire, our superior fence building skills. Pucker up, Dice Man. I'm as upholstered as I want to be. Pucker up, Dice Man. Say yes. I'm as upholstered as I want to be. You've made that bountifully clear. <laughs> Does this look familiar to you, Hamsar? Uh, hotel coupons for dinner again? You know what this thing's for, Hamsar? Uh, hotel coupons for dinner again? Oh, we'll never know. Can we give him some money? No way. Um, I guess let's go dig up the final thing. Huh? It should be around here, right? Have we seen a uh, cinder block anywhere else? Restoring the glory of Strong Badia, one fearful citizen at a time. Hmm. Is this going to take much Shut longer? Up. Whoa! <laughs> that made me feel a little vibracious. I gotta do that again. Excuse you. Looks like Hamsar's written like. Where else is there a cinder block? No.
I guess we can just have it out. Lovos. So that was the stick. Way in the front of the center block, okay. So it should be here ish. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so it's just near. Not like right, all right on it. Look at all the rust on this thing. It's gotta be ancient. What did we find? An ancient power strip. And then suddenly we grew some grass. Can we go back home nope. now? Uh. Yikes. A weird rock with popsicle crystals and a suspiciously obvious hole in the top. Oh no, now we need we need the last thing, which is from the concession stand. So we need to be able to trade for We'll be able to trade for the last thing that he has. Glow stick, yeah, maybe. What do you want for that? Can't sell it, strong man, but I'll trade it if you can. Okay. This is no time for a rave. Hmm. Maybe the sword. What do you give me for a cool duct tape forged weapon like this one, Bubs? For that whole piece of junk? Nothing. You gotta trade me something valuable. Like the sword that's in Pom Pom's club. I'd like to see him not not on fire, <laughs> but not 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 now. Okay. Nope. Okay, so... This strong bad moves like the stinky breeze. By the time you smell it, he's already gone. Stinky breeze. Doop boop boop, boop doop boop boop. Boop, 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 boop. Nope. This one. What do you give me for this razor sharp samurai sword, Bubs? You know what Bomb Bomb would do if he caught me selling those weapons? You gotta give me something a little less dangerous. Come on. Like stolen organs. What? Man, I thought that was going to be it. <laughs> Is this going to take much longer? Nah, I've performed enough amateur surgeries on strong side. Last time I left five pairs of scissors in there. Yikes. All right. I don't want to dull the mighty sword's blade. I mean, that's a good... Who else can we uh, liberate from their organs, though? That's not flammable. It might be. Only one way to find out. Mm, nope. That looks better not glowing. Hmm. So 
we can't get the rocks out of the way. I don't want to doubt the mighty sword. Yeah, that's a good point. We might have to go check Can our emails we go again. Back home now. Quiet, you. Can't we go home? It's hot, and I think I accidentally drank some of the water. Accidentally, huh? Shut up, man! It's hotter than strong man's armpit cleavage <laughs> up in this place. I could really use a cold one, or even a tepid one. Don't remind me. I already drank everything in the canteen. You drank the water? But it can cause dysentery, Giardia, the vapors, Qatar, Libya, Mozambique. Got distracted and inflammation there. Inflammation of the pretendix. I can already feel a rumble in my tumble. Gotta cut it out. Are you feeling okay, Strong Sad? Hey, you don't look so good. I know I'm gonna get sick. It's acute aphasic pretendicitis. You made that up. No, I didn't. I drank the water. My pretendix is probably swelled up like a fully satiated vampire's blood sack. Can you understand what the natives are saying? Of course not. Nobody's ever been able to decipher the Hamsar <laughs> language. Archaeologists believe a combination of ancient artifacts may be the key. But no one's ever found Got three them. of them already in the thing. Didn't you learn anything in your post-Strong Batty and Secession history classes that I held in my room in a little tent I made out of my sheets? Nerd. I don't study history, friend. I makes it. Good response. You're my cultural advisor. What can you tell me about this weird job and his gravity-defying <laughs> ways? It's all a mystery. Some say ancient astronauts may have left him here. Ancient or astronauts. abandoned him, as the case may be. Okay, so now we know he's sick, or he feels sick. Cut it out, strong mm. A giant trunk filled with the unmentionablest unmentionables unimaginable. <laughs> nah, I've performed enough amateur surgeries on. Last time I left five pairs. I gotta get back to treasure hunting. There's untold riches all over the place. Or at least, sorta of told riches. We know how to get it, how do we? So we need, maybe we can make him drink. Maybe we can get a drink at the, at the club. What are you doing in Pom Pomerani? Oh, I was stationed here after the war and fell in love with the place. <laughs> You gotta give me some pointers on how to dance cool, bubs. Cool dancing can't be taught, strong band, but it can be bought. Didn't we try that? Give me one of those obscenely overpriced drinks, bubs. What'll it be? Which one tastes the best? Taste? It's not about taste. Son, you're in Pom Pomeranian now. Where well, being cool is all about holding no. the right drink. So which is it? Uh... This one. How about a thin, overpriced can of bull honking? One energy sauce coming right up. Energy oh, sauce. That takes me back. I remember when people thought it was cool to order bull honking. <laughs> Gimme. Bull honking, caffeine energy sauce. The thin can energy drink for people so cool they don't need to use their <laughs> eyelids. Step aside, party people. Strong bad's all up in this coffee mug. What? Those moves were fresh baked this morning. All right. Hey, Shogun. No. F I know. I just need to move. Hey, Shogun. I, I just need strong bad. No. F just need to move. The whole floor should not be clickable. Give me one of those. What'll it be? Uh, we got a stout or a, uh, graduated cylinder. Unless this is what you meant by tube drink. I want the most expensive, glowingest drink you got. Aha! I've got just the thing! The Atom Smasher Guarana Blast! Yikes. A personal favorite of the Shogun! Okay, so that seems like the right one. 
Let's get a different one. Give me one of those obscene final it be. Let's get this one out first. Give me a tall, frosty cold one. This is a classy place, strong band. We only serve cold ones. Gross. This is a stout black. Super Ten pounds gross. of wheat and everybody. Ugh. There are cold people out there that like stouts. Stout black. So rich, thick, and dark, you can't believe and they're wrong. it's a liquid. Step Ugh. aside, party people. Strong band's all up in this coffee mug. Yeah, that's about how that would go. What? Those moves were. F no, no stouts. No stouts ever. Give me one of those. I'm smiling. Me. The atom smash. This weekend, treat yourself to something chemically unstable. Please drink irresponsibly. Hang on. Glowy rum shaker coming through. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. That was the righteousness. Come on, Wrestle Man. You're not going to form any alliances with a plain old glowy drink like that. So we need to get the glowy drink and then make it glowier? Give me one yeah. of those obscene. What will it be? Here you go. Do you believe Pom Pom said I don't have style? I'll show him style. My... Now we're talking. I bet you can see this thing from space. Hey, astronauts, throw me down some freeze-dried ice cream. You gotta I... do it, yeah. That Neapolitan crap. <laughs> Whoa, now I can separate the strobe light honeys from the actual hot girls. And probably blind a few in the process. All right, Pom Pom, prepare to be blinded by awesomeosity. Awesomeosity. What? Mm, now that's what I call an entrance. Wait, you'll join Strong Badia? Nice. I, I didn't even get a chance to show off my moves. Wait, while you're ahead. Okay. This has to be home stars. Next on the itinerary of doom, this savage, oh. warlike people of country. Nope. Country? Oh man, sounds like Strongman's getting held back <laughs> another year, and his finger painting had improved so much. I arranged a meeting with their brutal but just warlord. Now let's listen in. Country! Yes, Strong Mad, I know the name. The question is, do you want to join Strong Badia? <laughs> Diplomacy! This is never gonna work. I'm gonna need a translator. Ah, there you are, the cheat. Ask Genghis Kant here if he wants <laughs> to join Strong Badia. <laughs> the cheat's my best friend! <laughs> Ah, so you're his best friend. It's all starting to make sense. Okay. What do we get? A souvenir flag from country. As exquisitely <laughs> crafted as the real thing. Right down to the drool stains. Drool stains. Arts and craftsy gruesomeness. Ooh. Ooh. And last week's jumble. Think we can trade? No, we can't trade that because you can't pick it up. Can we go up the bridge? Long shall pass. <laughs> Strong Matty Goat's too gruff to let me cross. I'm going to have to try the diplomatic route. What do you think of our slovenly enemy, the of town? <laughs> the cheat? I made you a secret sauce policeman, <laughs> not a sailor. Where'd you learn to talk like that? 
<laughs> yes, Tachit. War is that word you just said. <laughs> How are things progressing back in the homeland? <laughs> Anti-war protests from the tire, eh? I don't gotta explain my foreign policy to some left-leaning road hugger. That guy needs to be realigned. Gee, ask what it's gonna take to get the big guy to join Strong Patia. <laughs> Mighty warrior! <laughs> A test of strength and valor? No prob. I cheat on those all the time. <laughs> A terrible monster laying waste to yonder countryside? So, I gotta slay the monster and prove myself a mighty warrior. Seems doable. But where is this strongman? Uh Gruesome papier mache skulls of the tarantula's <laughs> gruesome papier mache victims. Wonder how he got Marzipan to make That's that a lot of skulls. I helped with our income tax. What? Icebreath! Firebreath! Quake in the face of pure awesomeness, foul creature! <laughs> this is good. I don't want to risk burninating the whole thing. I'm gonna have to find a way to get that head away from Strong Mad first. Hmm. Death swipe! And we grows! The head we <laughs> The head regrows? No fair! Oh, I see. I'm gonna have to find a way to get that head away from Strong Mad first. We did. Fire breath! Hmm. Let's try swiping the fire head. Oh, head regrows. The head re- Yep. I don't want to risk burning. I'm gonna have to find. Can we light the paper mache stuff on fire? Whoa! That papier is almost as flammable as regular manly paper. The only way to kill a tarantula is to cut both heads off. Sometimes you just gotta tell it like it is. Hmm. Avanti! Oh, the head re Hmm. Open to suggestions. Lone skull. Gruesome arts and craftiness. Ooh, and this week's jumble. Cut it while he's holding the other one. Ow. Oh. A body blow would be and ruin the reset. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be clicking through that stuff. I'm at the oh, uh, the head. Okay. Your reign of terror ends here. Oh. Aww. Squirt, squirt. It still lives, Tarantula. <laughs> Die, you corrugated fiend! No. <laughs> squirt, squirt. Cycling bin of our hearts. It's true. Bring Tony Stoney. Tony Stoney. Oh, uh, Tony Stoney's your vice president. 
I see. Uh, sure. He can come along, strong man. Man, Tony Stoney's put on some pounds since he's been in office. Dateline country, once a proud land filled with proud persons. <laughs> this developing nation now waves a new flag, the Strong Betian Empires. Their army taken over, their most endangered species driven to extinction. What can stop this red menace? The menace. Come on in. We're so glad that you made it this far. Oh, it's just strong bad. Do you have any fruit to declare? What brand of idiocy have I stumbled <laughs> upon here? This is the Free People's Republic of Marsistar, a hostile territory. Welcome to Homestar. Homestar, <laughs> we've talked about this. It's Marsistar. No, seriously. Do you have any fruit to declare? I mean, maybe. Hey, Homestar. Another loyal subject of home Japan. Aren't you tired of that the of town cramping your style? Oh, you got that right. I don't like the way his castle sits up there, undressing me with its eyes. What are you gonna do when they invade? Invade home Japan? Call the militia! This is not a drill, people! Do you even have a militia? Holy crap, we're defenseless! That <laughs> settles it! I'm getting the band back together! I'm bringing back the home stormy! What was that? Uh, I said I'm bringing back the peaceful home Japan gentle flower planting brigade deal. Nailed it. What do you need for the home stormy to help me take on the of town? We're gonna need soldiers! Lots of soldiers! Old Tofu and Sprouts over there will abolish the draft. And we lost too many good men in the last war. How many soldiers is lots of soldiers? <laughs> exactly five. How do you know you- The colonel knows these things. Why don't you reinstate the draft? That's a great idea. That's right, folks. Once again, it's time for the peace draft. Homestar, tell the crowd what fabulous prizes today's winner will walk home with. Well, Homestar, grand prize is an all-expenses-paid trip to the castle and a meeting with the king of town. Homestar, are you building an army without my permission? No. Nothing, Marzipan. Just my regular old brand of nothing. Quick, just spin the wheel. Oh, man, little brother, come on. Tom Benedetto? Yo! Hasn't that family <laughs> Well, the draft didn't work, strong man. Only one thing left to do. Clone an army of mutant super soldiers. I mean... Oh, Homestar, we... Wait, that was an option? How come you come up with the unbelievably cool ideas only after I'm committed to this one? <laughs> Can we try that again? You should run that draft again before... We may already be too. And welcome back to Home Japan's peacetime draft extravaganza. We Let's gotta get them all. Today's lucky winner. Come on, little brother. Home Star Winner! I believe the winner is right here in our studio. I can't make me solve fascist. Uh-oh, looks like we got us an artful draft dodger, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no war, no war. What are all y'all's fighting for? What is my major malfunction, private? Homestar, you can't draft yourself. <laughs> really? Wish I'd known before I signed up for this chicken outfit. Never mind. Bacock! No go, Strobro. Strobro. Oh, keep trying. We will. Just let me, just let me keep trying, though, game. Run the draft. Okay. And welcome back to Hope Japan. Who we gonna get? Hank so the Tank Benedetto? The Man, these Benedettos are really hogging the wheel. Sorry, Hank. We need you on the home front, keeping the rations fresh. No goes to Gotta try them all. Why don't you read? It's a quick. Eh. Waffle iron. 
Ramon Benedetto? No more! I can't look into Mrs. Benedetto's eyes again until the whole boy's not coming back home. No ghost, Ramon. The first Benedetto was a casualty. You should run that draft again before it's too late. In we may already be the too The conflict late. of Strong Batty is hey, founding. Welcome back, <laughs> dude. Hopes of I believe it was a popcorn machine. Marty Benedetto. Fortunately, he's ineligible. He's been classified 4H. No ghost, whoa, whoa. That was a oh, wild noise. Trying. It was like if you combined tire screech with cat meow. Run the draft. Okay. And welcome back, you hopes and pants. Now we got three more. Marty Benedict. No, go. No, I need. Brown. Okay. Hola, Marzipound. Got her. However you pronounce that. What is it, Strong Bad? I've got an awful lot of queening to do. You and Strong Sad both. Got him. What's with the crappy science fair project? That's my model United Nations. It's a testament to peace, equality, and sharing between all nations of the world, even yours. Equality and sharing? <laughs> Barf. That sounds vaguely communistic. Thanks, I know. I'm collecting treasures from all the developed countries, plus Koshnia, to go in the displays. <laughs> all to say, this is what we can do when we work together. I bet King Homestar really wants to join Strong Badia and take on the castle. Yeah, but in about five minutes, King Homestar could really want to join an off squirrel football team. <laughs> you do have a point there. <laughs> Come in, coach. We can beat those chipmunks. Oh, you don't like the game. town. I heard you say so. Don't you need protection with this castle looming overhead so ominously? We've got a peace treaty with the municipality, and that means one thing. You will never pass through Marzastar to attack the king of town. I want you two to join the Strong Badian Empire. And by want, I mean not want. But I can already tell I'm not getting through this place until you guys join up. No way, Pinochet. Marzastar is a peaceful nation. It's Marzipane's folky, i.e. crappily made, arts and crafts display. So what if Homestar's have? gonna be any use to my empire at all, he's gonna have to build up the Homestar me with more than small kitchen appliances. All the greatest achievements of Strong Sad's country. 20-sided dice and cunningly designed dungeons. Uh, you know. He gets beaten up at least five times a day, <laughs> and it's still not enough. Nothing in Strong Mad's display but some wadded up paper and the handle of a mug he tried to make in pottery class. Keep on keeping on. It's the display for Coach Nia, and that means three things ointment, ointment, and more ointment. <laughs> a contribution from Poopa Slovakia. Yeah, I'm not going anywhere near that one. The display from Bub's Concession Stantinople. Looks like a half-eaten chicken wing. From Pom Pomerania, a half-empty can of Bull Honky Caffeinergy Sauce. And from the Hansar people, a jar of cocktail onions wearing <laughs> a top hat. So, clearly the lighter goes here. Won't burn. Well, Tony Stoney. From the country of country, a giant rock I've been impossibly keeping in my pants. Aha! The balance of power has shifted. Interesting. Oh. I need to I need to leave here, thank you. Why don't you reinstate Hey And welcome back, you hopes and pants, peace time dwell. Homestar, what? I can't make. Okay. Oh, no, what? It... Homestar, really? No go. Oh. So it 
changes the... Hmm, okay. A souvenir flag from the People's Republic of Marsistar. Let me guess. It biodegrades <laughs> into an eco-friendly fertilizer. You know it does. This land looks bountiful, but if onions are Mars Star's only crop, I'm not signing up to be their breath smell ambassador. Can't do it. So, dump tenant, ready to be the battle's first <laughs> casualty? You hush. I'm here to provide moral morale for the troops. Well, I guess you do make everyone else look leaner and meaner by comparison. Got any cool combo moves you could teach the troops, Pom Pom? The 12 point exploding rooster technique? That's probably overkill for exploding the other. Exploding rooster. I just want to underkill him. <laughs> Frank Benedetto fell in service to his country during the first battle hey, I was of right. Strong Badia. Even though we were on different sides of that conflict, that soldier had real butter. You gotta respect that. Ah, good old lug nut and squeak. <laughs> reunited under the flag of Strong Badia. I miss you so! That was awful. And I hate it. So do we take... Can we take... Tony, Tony, what are you doing out here? Wouldn't you be more comfortable in the tight waistband of my inventory? Hmm... What else can we put there? The money? No way. That won't fit either. I don't want to dull the mighty. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> It seems like so. Tony Stone is the only thing that goes there. Aha! The balance of. Try the draft one more time. I'm... You should run that draft again. We may. Eh. Homestar White <laughs> It just I keeps going to Homestar. Right I can't make. Uh oh! Look, yo, what? What is my? Homestar, you can't draft your s- Really? Wish I'd known before- No goes. Oh, keep hmm. trying. Are you gonna let some girl tell you how to run your country? I thought we were bros. Wait, I thought I thought we were bros, and you're always beating various stuffings out of me. And it was what we did I the last episode. I thought we were bros. Sorry, man. I know it looks like I'm the brain to this outfit, but my lady friend's got a good head on her shoulders. Um, nothing about that last thing you <laughs> said was true. Can I rearrange the boxes? I don't think you so. You look like someone who wants to unwillingly join a growing empire. You're like some type mind reader. Where do I sign? <laughs> Homestar. Oh, why? I apologize, good ambassador, but my treaty signing and battle <laughs> privileges have been revoked. Let's see. Oh, the lands will be united, all right. Oh, uh, my cotton padded fist. My cotton padded there fist. There it is. So you can't. Okay. Nothing in strong. Yeah, they, there's. All the they're like locked in. He gets beaten. And from the hop. Hmm. Mm hmm. Did we miss anything at the front of the house? A mailbox. Wonder if Marzipan ever got that stink bomb I sent to. Oh, even better! Page two of my algebra hey, instruction manual. 
This one details the icy hot polar coordinates attack move. I think that's all of them, right? Nice. Excuse you. Can't go up there. Why would you be able to take Tony Stoney out? Do you have any souvenirs from Strong Mad's country? Country? They're a primitive, warlike person. Not too big on <laughs> souvenirs. I got some wadded up balls of paper and a macaroni no. sculpture of the cheat if you want them. I've seen Strong Mad's attempts at arts and craft. <laughs> Do you have any souvenirs from the Hums? They're buried all over the place if you know. How'd you get back here so fast from Pom Pomerania? I got a rail pass. Hey -o. Okay, Bubs. Give me one of those cheap. Sorry, I'm all sold out of the good stuff. All I got Ooh. left is this clockwork strong bed. I'm to the place where the tropical breeze is. All nuts. Cheap foreign mates. Family. Tell you what. Half off. Half off? How could I resist? How are you going to pay for that? With strong body and currency, of course. The most moist and juicy of all barely legal tender. <laughs> 100 quesos? That's gotta be at least a million poopies. Keep the change, my good man. Buy yourself something dangerous. Oh, some more. That's an odd <laughs> sensation. So I wonder what that will do to the uh, wheel here. Tony Stony. I'm keeping this little guy with me. Aww. Junior appreciates me for who I am. Do you think we can tr Can we trade it to Bubs for the Homsar thing? Because that would be very Bubs. Even a tiny, unlicensed version of me is too awesome. Sad. You want Tony Stoney? Tony Stoney's an important diplomat. <laughs> I can't be th Okay, well. Oh, man, what do we do? Spin again once it's from the bottom. Yeah, let's try that. Run the dr Okay. Egg. Hank the Tank. Hank the Tank, Benedetto? Man, these Benedettos are really hogging the wheel. Sorry, Hank. We no goes, Dwarf. Oh, keep trying. How do they stay? The box, yeah, the box moves because that's where, like, Homestar is. And Tony Stoney, like, sets it to the, so that it's always at the bottom. So it moved one counterclockwise when we did this. And welcome back. No goes, Dwarf. Oh, keep trying. Now it moved two to the... Why did I let Strong Man give me Tony Stoney? I gotta get rid of this thing. So now it's right side up, so I uh -huh. wonder... The balance of power has shifted. Who are we trying to get out of the draft wheel? You should run that drafting... And welcome back to Hopes and Pants Peace Time Traps Travaganza. Let's see who's today. Oh, 
hopes don't always... boil. I believe the hmm. winner is right here in our... I can't make me... Uh-oh. Yo, what is my... Homestar... Really? No ghost, bro, bro. Oh, game... I wonder... I w uh, hang on. I have an idea. Oh, the land... Uh, nope. My... I have an idea. Okay. There uh -huh. we go. The balance of power. So that should make Coach Z come up. Run the drafting. Okay. And welcome back to Hopes and Pants Peacetime Draft. Yo, little Johnny Benedetto. You always wanted to be like your brother Frank. Well, I'm not going to let you die like Frank. The tragedy ends here. No ghost, bro, bro. Oh, So we're one I'm off. Okay, so hang on. This is Homestar. This is Toaster. So it's either Country or Poop Slovakia. If we flip it around, I think it's this one because it's further away from Homestar. Aha! I'm trying to envision what the wheel looks like on the back. And the lucky winner is Code Z. We got it. Really? I never won anything before in my <laughs> life. Recruit, are you willing to put your life and some cool camos on the line to defend my country? I think they've all overbid. One dollar, one dollar. <laughs> Close enough. Welcome to the home, Stormy Soldier. Nice. All right, so we have... We got five. What's the state of the home, Stormy? Does that look like five soldiers to you, Private? Yes. We could use some more strong baddie and allies to thicken up our watery wanks. It's literally five people. One, two, three, four, five. How, though? Are you ready to put your life on the line for strong baddie? Put my life on the line? I thought this was the ROTC! Oh. And what, pray tell, do you think that <laughs> stands for? Relaxation of the coach. First try. Even a tiny unlicensed ver- Nah, I'll let him live. For now. <laughs> What does Homstar want for? We know what Homstar wants from us. What do we do with the doll? Okay, that's that is a plan of action. Oh yeah, because we have to make him think that he's sick enough now? to operate. I'm burning up! According to this thermometer, my skin should be melting off. I hope I'm not coming down with something. Nah, uh, I prefer last time. Acute aphasic pretendicitis? What are the symptoms of this made-up disease you think you got? First, you get a really high fever. Then you start shaking ah. uncontrollably. They say if it gets really bad, you can't even understand language. My pros, what'll happen to my award-winning pros? <laughs> hmm, how can these... I don't know, I don't want to have surgery in this backwards country. Too bad. Too bad. Yuppers.
I would better t take my t t t t temperature. <laughs> C can't stop shaking. That can't be good. Does Hamsar even know what a hospital is? Okay, so we need him to take his temperature again, I think. Nah, that was only fun. Okay. We'll never get out of here until you help me try. I'm a knock knock joke about joking. Through. Yeah, you are, bud. I told you, Strong Bad. Archaeologists believe. Tell me again. First, you get a really high fever. Got it. Then you. St In the worst stages, you can't even understand language. Can't you tell me anything you. Archaeologists. They're hmm. weird, and they talk funny. I guess let's try talking to Homsar. What's the good word? Hello, strong bad. What's a joke about jogging suits? Whoa, did I almost understand something Homsar just said? I broke the tip off my stipend. Sign me up for soccer class, Deborah. What are you doing, Strong Bad? Ah, save room for the laugh track, Locash. I can't understand what you guys are saying. I'm a fresh dipe, if you see what I mean. Oh, can't understand language. That's one of the symptoms. I knew it. It's pretendicitis. <laughs> I knew it. I gotta find a doctor. Medic? That was quick. Turns out they've got subsidized health care here. And they let me keep my pretendix in a jar. Wow. Oh, man, no fair. I've been trying to have my pancreas jarred up for years. All right, well, I guess this is ours now. Strong bad, is please. This is going to take much longer. My turn. Hey, that's mine. Nope. Correction, it was yours. Maybe you should have gotten more pretend fiber in your diet if it was so dang important to you. Pretend fiber gives me real tapeworms. All right, so we'll trade that for the last relic. And then we finally understand Homsar. Hello, strong bad. Is that what I think it is? Or depends what you think it is. <laughs> A jar of grandma's homemade gribble dangs. Right? Uh, no. It's strong sense pretendix. A real life pretendix. Even better. I'll trade you for it. No questions asked. What will you give me for it? For one that big, anything I got in stock. Which is just this broken piece of an old pot. Old pot. Did I just get ripped off? <laughs> Except no questions asked. All right. Is this going to take Shut much up. longer? After all the crap I went through. What? Yes. I just misclicked. It's obviously a spaceship, right? I understand everything now. It's all so simple. It was the pride of the peaches. Wow, that was vibracious and flotatious. Yay. Hello, strong bad. What's the haps? Hey, I can understand you now. Your voice is so soothing. Thank you. I do radio ads for local jewelry and watch repair shops. I'm sure you have many questions. Ask away. How does that popsicle stand work anyway? You have reassembled the sacred elemental items of collection. Ordinarily, you would have to face a punishingly difficult final dungeon and disappointing end cutscene. <laughs> 
but the ancient prophecy foretold of a young boy that would one day come to usher in a new era of- All right, shut up, filibuster. Never would have asked if I'd known you were such a windbag. Ah, I'm the old Jalboa jump shot. Why are you talking gibberish, strong bad? You sound like a two years old boy. Do you want to join Strong Badia and help overthrow the Elf Town? Off a cliff? Why should my people risk open war for you and your considerable style? We're not gonna risk war. We're gonna start one. Listen to what nope. that royal boil did to me. First, he wrinkled the top of the breads and cereals group. <laughs> my baseboards are full of chicken sticks. What? <laughs> And he's really fat and stupid. Mm. Then I have no choice. We will join Strong Badia. First for some sandwiches, then to die side by side in battle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody said anything about dying. But first you must complete the three ancient tasks of great boredom. Oh. What? No, nah, man. Just messing with you. Let's do this like Brutus. This is the best strong er Hamsar. All right, put on your dancing shoes, Hamsar. Time to make a move on the castle. I will follow you, my brother. And these are my dancing <laughs> shoes. But first, we must perform the ancient sacred ceremony my uncle Chet taught me when I was a kid. I've always wanted to try it. Is it gonna take long or hurt <clears throat> or hurt long? Relax. Let the energy build. Join me in the summoning song. Oh. Whoa, way to go, Uncle Chet! I'm a song from, from the sixties. Fantastic. He's back to abnormal. Let's get out of here, strong side. I can't wait to journal about the nightmares I'm gonna have from this experience. Scoot, 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 scoot. And Dark Continent, the Homsar Preservation. Who else could bring modern conveniences to this backwards land other than the intrepid emancipator, Strong Bad? Welcome to the 20th century, Homsar. Raised by a cup of coffee, indeed. <laughs> Homestar, I told you I don't like you having all your friends over to watch the game and plan paramilitary operations without asking me first. Oh, you granola bars are all the same, except for the ones with chocolate chips. You enjoy your freedom to not wash your hair and play hacky sack, but aren't willing to put an orange ball on your head and wave a spoon around. It's true. Okay, that is it, Homestar. We are through. Good. Fine. Battle! Your side is East Mars's Star, and my side is East Home's Japan. Midway along the border, we'll set up checkpoint to cheat. Why don't you just make your own country at your house? No way! There's a squirrel in the attic that I sometimes think is a spooky ghost. Whatever. Oh, why, maggots? I tell. I. What? You call this a home star me? Somebody's gonna have to whip these wastes of panty wastes into shape. Take it away, your dryness. Just let me know when you want to start attacking the castle. All right. No retreat. No surrender. Double impact. Time cop. He's just doing his own deal. The first thing you'll notice about the of town is that he smells like fresh baked breads. Do not be fooled. I don't know if I'm supposed Has to be doing anything right now. Has anyone seen my contact lens? Oh, I just have to talk to him, and I don't have, I don't have Shrinking the option. I was going to save. But perfectly acceptable responses you can't. to an attack. Do I make myself clear? Sir, yes, sir. Am I boring you, Private? I have something to share with the rest of the class. I'm the local Leroy. Sure are, bud. Do you want to die, soldier? Hmm, well... Shape up, Private! I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> oh, 
Run to the castle! Death to the off town! Revelation! My dearest Marzipan, the siege of the castle continues. We are forever surrounded by the brown stench of war and the constant beige screaming. Always the beige screaming. <laughs> we have suffered great losses. The cheat was the first to turn tail and join the enemy, quickly followed by the traitorous Coach Z, which incidentally is his new rap name. I've done things I'm not proud of. I can only dream of the day when this madness ends and I can return to your ahem, arms once again. Your lovable cuddliness, Homestar Waddle. Don't be stupid, Homestar. Okay. The siege lasted five minutes and that was a week ago. It was like the King of Town wanted to give up. The home Starby sure showed him a thing or twelve. <laughs> Whatever. I just wanted to tell you again to pick up your stupid draft wheel from my house. I need the yard for my down with the king rally. Now I'm going back down to protest you slash everything you stand for. Okay, Marzi Pig, call me. <laughs> uh, how could I have known being king of town would suck so many eggs? Right, how couldn't I have known? There, there, my liege. That emptiness you feel inside, I want you to take that and cram it full of chimichangas. Yeah, this seems like a good place to save. <laughs> we got all sorts of fun stuff to interact with when we come back. Throne room. Okay. I think... That'll do it for tonight. Thank you for hanging out and uh, employing your lateral thinking where mine doesn't work. Because I'd still just be wandering around with the sword trying to figure out what to do with it. Which we haven't done anything with the sword. So. Um, but we've got all weekend to think about solutions and what those shelves are doing and why Strong Sav is going like this. We'll be back on Monday. The draft puzzle. The draft puzzle. Yeah, it wasn't immediately obvious that you could put Tony Stoney in the other cubby holes. But we got there. Anyway. Um, Sunday is Fall Guys. Supposedly. Um, with the people watching. So... We'll get that all situated. We'll be playing that. And, well, we'll play at least one round, and then Dane will decide that he doesn't want to play anymore. Um, and then we'll have to figure out something else. So it might be golf. Or it might just be the end of everything. Man, so tune in. Other than that, I will uh, catch y'all later. Bye bye. Volume, widescreen, your vote counts. <laughs>